Hello, Mr. Nocher. I just, uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to do this, even though it's late and understanding my circumstances. Um, I hope you enjoyed this persuasive speech. I don't know if I will be able to complete the full eight minutes just because I've had, I still have other work to work on and this is not the only thing that I have to deal with. So I hope you like it. Okay. So my topic is should school start later? School starting times have been something that students and parents have been debating about for several years. As expected, the students want the school to start later so that they have an opportunity to get a good night's sleep. Parents usually think that their current starting times are fine and good for everyone. Their side of the argument works for young children that are full of energy and don't get tired easily. But that is not true for older kids and teenagers. According to the National Sleep Foundation, children undergo a shift in sleep changes when they enter puberty, which causes them to remain alert later in the evening and to remain sleepy later in the morning. So teenagers are naturally inclined to stay up later at night and wake up later in the morning. Advocates argue that at 8.30 a.m. start time improves students' chances of success. In the early morning when their brains are not fully awake, students are not forced to focus on difficult academic tasks and concepts. Due to their busy schedules and things that they have to do, they tend to go to sleep late at night. Many times the amount of work that their teachers assign is not enough for them to complete and it gets enough sleep and they still do not get enough sleep for the next day. This happens to me a lot. This causes them to stay up late at night, then wake up in the morning, wake up the next morning sleep deprived. If school were to start later, there is a possibility that the attendance will rise and standardized testing scores will also go up. Even though school is starting later would benefit the students, it wouldn't benefit the parents so much. One of the biggest concerns about changing the, t the time that school starts is parent work schedules. When school starts at 7.30, most parents can see their kids before school and if able, they can drop their kids off. If school time changes, most, people, most parents won't be able to drive their kids to school and get to work on time still. This is mainly a problem for parents of young children who need supervision while getting ready for school and waiting for the bus. For teenagers, later starting times may lead to more responsibilities such as getting themselves up on their own and making their own breakfast. Another thing that would be a problem would be the transportation systems. Many school districts use buses to pick children up from their houses or from certain destinations if their parents are not able to take them to school. I ride the bus personally, and I feel as though it takes a lot of responsibility to wake myself up and get ready by a certain time and go to my bus stop. One last problem would be after school activities. If after school times are later, that means that these activities will continue later on in the day. This will make it difficult for students to participate and still have long enough time to study, finish homework, participate in social activities, get to work on time, and still go to bed at a decent hour. I hope you enjoyed this speech, Ms. Nutcher, and uh, I just personally want to say thank you, and I had a really fun time uh, being enrolled in this course, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you again for understanding my situation.